What is up, everybody? Back. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Revival Motor YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, <clears throat> I am at our studio today on my way home from work because tomorrow is my first day out with the Drift Mustang. So tonight, or right now, I'm gathering my helmet, gloves, all the goodies, some extra tools, tires, that sort of stuff that I think I'm gonna need for tomorrow. Uh, so I'm gonna put that stuff together now and uh, tomorrow will be the day. So when you're watching this, in a few minutes, you'll hopefully see the car out there on track. So uh, let's put the stuff together now, huh? Even made myself a nice little list of uh, things I wanna bring. Maybe not all of it, but at least most of it. We made it. I'm unpacking my stuff. Got a paddock spot. We're in there. my car we are about to go out for the first time today after a little um classroom session so we're gonna see what this is all about uh absolutely feeling nervous um but i think it'll be fun so let's uh let's give it a go see what what happens I tried to do too much. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Just try one thing at a time. If it yeah. works, it works. If it doesn't, Yeah, that's how I'll get more yeah. comfortable just doing the big yeah. donuts. And yeah, then... no, if you want to just do big donuts, get okay. comfortable with it, for sure. Uh, just that last entry, literally what happened is you would have been fine. You just entered too early. Yep. Um, and you basically drove yourself into the cup. Right, right, like right. If you just entered later, a little bit wider, right. you would have made it around the cup. Yeah. You be able to sweep it. Yeah, that makes sense. down a lap around the pits uh just to really you know temper's fine just figured i put some you know more cold air uh into the car just cool things off a little bit myself included a little warm out um but yeah i'm feeling more and more comfortable i switched to uh using second gear to do big wide donuts and that made a big improvement it gave me more range of throttle just in general uh rather than you know pissing through the rev range real quick. So I'm gonna go back up there, um, get a few more donuts under my belt.
So, uh, batteries on my GoPros are getting a little worn, so I'm gonna give those a rest for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we just had an uh, hour-ish long session of the skid pad doing big wide donuts, try to do figure eights, things like that. That was really fun. Um, car's feeling comfortable. I'm feeling more comfortable in the car, which is great. Uh, taking a little break right now. I think it's just about lunchtime, so I think Mike's went to grab lunch for everybody. Uh, I'm cooling off, let the car cool off. Tires seem like they're holding up pretty good. Um, little issue with the front wheel. I'll need to add a spacer, even a five mil or whatever, just to the front because it touches the control arm. Uh, I'll get some footage of that now. Uh, but yeah, great day so far. Absolutely loving it. This is awesome. Combined 480 hours on the sim, baby. We got this. What a day, what a day. Uh, absolutely killer time today at Lock City Drift. The clinic was amazing. Big shouts to Mike Lynch, uh, I believe it's Brad, Derek, and Kenny who worked the event. Uh, all four of them, you know, was giving gave me tips on my line, pointers, different things all day. I can't say enough positive things about what Lynch and Lock City has going on at Thompson, especially for the clinics in general. Um, absolute blast car was great couple little issues i gotta sort out spacers uh up front just because the inside of the wheel was hitting the lower control arm so much so it actually scraped some of the wheel off uh i think i'll show that in part of the video before but like a five mil spacer maybe an eight um pop that in might do all around just for a little bit better look uh but yeah besides that car was great temp held good all day Never had any issues with that. Um, tires worked out good. No D-Lamb or anything like that. I don't, I don't think I was out there long enough and fast enough for those issues to arise. But uh, on the skid pad, I was getting it going pretty good towards the end there. So um, it was wild all day um, driving a certain way with the you know resistance of the pavement in the car, really getting used to it that way. And then it started raining and changed everything. Uh, and it was like being on ice, complete ice capades out there. 
um, but it was still fun nonetheless. Like I said, really gave me an opportunity to feel what the car feels like in drift, uh, transitioning the car, all that sort of stuff. A few little tweaks to get it rolling, but I'm absolutely amped. I'm tired of shit. I got to go pick up my daughter, then hit home and start to edit this video. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked. The car's finally out there. Um, not quite a year since I bought it. 10 months, I think. So uh, between, I say about 10 months between the time I decided, all right, I'm going to drift figure out how to get a car, what car, uh, get the car, do all the stuff to it, and then finally get out there. It was a little late because of some of the issues I ran into, but all good nonetheless. Uh, can't thank everybody enough for their help. Oh, Chuck and Corey showed up, which was awesome. Uh, it was just fun to see those boys, you know, some of my best friends now, and uh, have them come show up, support me as I'm out there trying to figure this whole thing out was awesome. So big shouts to them as well. Um, <clears throat> that's about it. Stay tuned for more. Uh, I got to figure out next time I'm getting out there with this, but it should be pretty soon. Goodbye for now.